It was predicted that he would become the next Premier of Queensland. He was showing the strongest figures in the polls ever seen by an opposition leader. It seemed John Paul Langbrook had the support of his party, the LNP, and the people of Queensland, until. Whilst the 2011 summer floods almost completely destroyed Brisbane, it gave Anna Bly and her government a much needed moral boost and resulted in her popularity soaring. As their popularity grew, Mr Langbrook's lessened. Under constant pressure and scrutiny from the LNP, John Paul decided to resign on the 22nd of March 2011, just 20 days before what would have been his two-year mark as leader of the opposition. During those two years, John Paul often says the love and care his family gave him was the driving force behind his determination. But that's not to say that his family didn't make some sacrifices along the way. Well, there have been a lot of good times and a few bad times, but the important thing is the family's been with me through all of it. Firstly, there's John Paul's wife, Stacey, who he calls the family's calming centre. When asked how long they've been together, she can answer the exact time up until the day. Well, we've been married for 25 years, 4 months and 19, 19 days. days. Langbrook's three children, Chloe, Bronte and Piers, vary in hair colour, but agree on one thing. We're all so proud of him and everything that he's achieved. Once John Paul became leader in 2009, the family was thrown into the spotlight. With their every move and decision was premeditated to counteract with the scrutiny they had from the media. Tell us about schoolies. I was just looking forward to the week like everybody else who was graduating. When did the media start expressing interest in you? It was a couple of days before and it began with television and news reports and resulted in television crews lining outside my school hoping to catch a glimpse of my family at my graduation ceremonies. And how did you react to all that attention? Not well. It was very unexpected. I had no idea that anyone was interested in my schoolies week except for me. And what advice did your parents give you? They told me to just ignore it all and to have fun but not too much fun because my family's reputation was still on the line. If you're the 17 or 18 year old like Bronte yeah. was at the time, that she could understandably feel like, why am I having to undergo all this scrutiny? I yeah. just want to enjoy schoolies and I don't want to have the sense that the media are watching out for every thing that I do wrong because when you're 17, you're allowed to actually have some fun and you yeah, shouldn't exactly. feel like you're going to get hammered by the media. The quietest of the Langbrooks is 13 year old Piers, who grew up in a house with an atmosphere much different to that of the home in which his older siblings lived. Dad wasn't around as much as when Chloe and Bronte were growing up. Do you feel like you missed out on that bonding time that, that your sisters had? Definitely not. Now that he's not leader, we go out to movies and theme parks and just hang out more in general. So it's improved since he's not the leader. Yeah. John Paul has been recently announced as the prestigious Shadow Minister for Police, Corrective Services and Emergency Services. And with the election looming for either late this year or in early 2012, the Langbrooks are now simply hoping for the LNP to win and take government. Then John Paul will become the minister. It's clear to see that with their positive attitudes and evident love and care for one another, the Langbrook family is behind each other 100% within all their ventures.